Hi everyone, today's headlines. People violence, firing reported in Nagaland, two injured in clash. Hekani Jakalu was given NDPP ticket because of public support. Central and state government don't want to solve Naga political issue, claims Congress. BJP leaders on usage of Hallelujah praise the Lord during election campaign in Nagaland. Postal ballot casting for absentee voters underway in Nagaland. News in details. Pre-poll violence, firing reported in Nagaland, two injured in clash. In an unfortunate incident, a clash between the supporters of two candidates from two Dimapur Assembly constituency was reported on Saturday night, leaving two persons with minor injuries, said Dimapur police. A police officer told this the news agency that two persons who were injured during the confrontation are out of danger. The police informed that they received a call at around 8.50 p.m. on Saturday regarding the incident at Indecent Village. They rushed to the spot and took control of the situation, he said, adding that they had spoken to both the parties. Hekani Jakalu was given NDPP ticket because of public support, says Nagaland CM. Nagaland Chief Minister Nifiri on Saturday said that Hekani Jakalu was given the NDPP ticket for three Dimapur AC because of her good position and public support after analyzing the situation at the grassroots and people's recommendation. We did not give the ticket because she is a woman, though as per our manifesto, we stand with gender equality and we want to give equal opportunity to everyone, he said while citing her work for the youth. Ria was addressing the campaign kickoff come rally of NDPP candidate Hekani Jakalu at Doyapur ground where he also officially released her election manifesto. Central and state government don't want to solve Naga political issue, claims Congress. Rajya Sabha MP and All India Congress Committee General Secretary in charge of Communication Department Jairam Ramesh on Saturday asked what prevented Nagaland Chief Minister, Prime Minister and Union Home Minister from arriving at a solution to the Nagaland political issue during the 13th Nagaland Legislative Assembly. He was reacting to CM Nefiria's statement at an event on Friday that the core issue in the 14th NLA would be on settlement of Naga issue. Addressing a press conference at Congress Bhavan, Dimapur, Ramesh claimed that the trio do not want a solution or else they could have done as the BJP had a majority in both houses of parliament last five years. BJP leaders on usage of Hallelujah praised the Lord during election campaign in Nagaland. Responding to controversy over utterance of Hallelujah Praise the Lord by Union Minister of State for Minister Affairs John Barla during an election meeting for 30 Along Turkey AC candidate Temjin Imna Along. The convener of BJP Nagaland Media Cell, Sapralu Neka on Saturday, said it was the prerogative of Barla, who is a very good Christian, to carry forward his faith and it is his liberty to do as a Christian. Neka stated this at a press conference in Dimapur on Saturday, a day after the Dimapur area Awo Baptist Pastors Fellowship condemned the Saffron Party members for shouting Hallelujah Praise the Lord during an election campaign not long after singing Christian song. I have decided with modified lyrics at a different event. Postal ballot casting for absentee voters underway in Nagaland. To facilitate the absentee voters in the category of senior citizens and persons with disabilities, the Deputy Commissioner and District Election Officer of Kohima initiated a house-to-house -house postal ballot facility in the district on Saturday. The exercise was carried out by the polling teams in all the six assembly constituencies to enable the listed AVSC and AVPD to exercise their franchise during postal ballot. Meanwhile, Nagaland Chief Electoral Officer V. Shashank Shekhar informed that it has received a total of 3,228 applicants in the category of senior citizens and 173 for persons with disabilities for casting postal ballot in the upcoming 14 Nagaland Legislative Assembly election scheduled on February 27. That's all for now. To get this don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you.